This is Dominions 5 and this time I'm playing with Nabba or Nabba. <laughs> okay, this is a desert uh, people. These are desert people with uh, jeans and uh, mistress. Actually, they have this uh, awesome hero, the Safia the Malikah. Malikah. All right, uh, it can, let's see, uh, recruit. it can have uh, Astral, which is uh, amazing, and Nature. So I can make uh, different uh, squads in different schools. Also, they have uh, Weak Priced, which is a commander with uh, plus two for squads, which is cool. Some races don't have it. So these two are actually amazing. I can use the flaming arrows a lot here because also uh, they have uh, this big archer uh, which uh, is good at fighting too with the short sword. But uh, their sacred units are not very good. Right, now uh, they also have some special spells uh, like uh, contact gym. This spell will it's fire and air, summon jeans, and also uh, I can summon these two heroes, the him and the Silat. I have uh, them here. This is uh, this is the Silat, the, the stronger one, but I still don't uh, find use of them. Uh, what else? Uh, I'm playing with the uh, blue dragon here uh, because uh, of water. They, they lack uh, water magic and dead magic, of course. Uh, so I needed to make my own dead. Ah, ah yes, I lost some nasty uh, creatures there. Uh, where is my dead mage? It's not her. Ah, yes, I made her also water. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, they have actually one unit uh, with astral, natural astral. Uh, it's that priced, their biggest priced. It's his two. And uh, well, this is uh, about the. Naba Nation. I'm beginning to like them. Uh, they have uh, heat too, but uh, when I make uh, maximum heat, it is only minus 5, minus 10 in com and supply, and it could stay there. Uh, okay, I'm now on this map. Uh, it is uh, interesting map. Uh, I generated it. Uh, so it is a long and uh, not very high. So I start somewhere from this position. I managed to take out uh, one of the players. There are seven players here. And now I will continue to the left. But here, Agartha is stopping me. And uh, the most unfortunate event <laughs> is that I am playing against Ermor. I know. Uh, people don't like to play against uh, dead races because, well, after a while, the population of this province will become zero and cannot be increased anymore. So anything that Ermor takes uh, is almost gone forever. So what is the plan? Uh, now Ermor is fighting two other races, Michaka, another one of my favorites, and here is a purple race uh, nation where I'm going with a scout, but uh, yes, this scout is going up. I have a water scout. Where's my water scout? Huh. I lost it somewhere. Ah, there, his Nabil. Okay, he should go into the water. Uh, he is with, well, the skin armor, Shambler skin armor, giving him water, entering the water. 
Uh, now, what bothers me is that Garta will begin fighting with uh, <coughs> McClan, which clan? Uh, wait. Miklan, uh, Miklan, and interrupt him from the war with Ermor. I hope uh, this race is a win against Ermor, but uh, I doubt they will. I'm playing the mighty eyes, so they are pretty strong. And what I'm planning is to attack Agartha at some point when I take a few provinces in their territories. Also, uh, I play with the maximum strength of the neutrals. So here we have the Wormwood Witch, which is not very strong. I by now I managed to uh, take out three of the irradiating power heroes in provinces. One of them was a monolith, which was very hard to take out with ordinary troops. Uh, so, this is the plan, and maybe if I can hold these two positions here, at the top and down, uh, where I can, I imagine I will meet Ermor at, uh, in a day or two, when I prepare. Correctly. I have to prepare correctly. But uh, let's see how Ermor fights. Here is uh, a war that uh, they won against the clan. And uh, let's see their clans and hordes of undead. There they are. <laughs> well, the clan don't have a chance. And I'm thinking how to take out uh, this undead. Maybe with a lot of price. Let's see. I will not move the map a lot. It has some glitch on the screen. Okay, they are flying. It will glitch. The underworld. Nevertheless, uh, Ermor lost 600 troops. Uh, they were attacking with 3,000. Uh, well, McClan lost 238. So, this is uh, a lot of stuff, but it's not very strong. And this is for now. The Desert Race, uh, they have hit two. Uh, Ah, the thrones. Did I, did I show the thrones? Now I have these two good thrones. One is the throne of the sun. One heat, which is good uh, for my race. One order, one growth. I actually now have uh, two thrones with growth. This one too. And, ah, uh, wait, this one. <laughs> Control of the spring, three growth. Uh, having plus three growth, I can get the uh, I'm preparing to take the throne of Pestilence, but uh, sadly, I think uh, for a while the troops will begin to uh, get plagued. Uh, hopefully, on this game, I find the witches pretty soon. Uh, the witches, uh, they can, they have the natural ability disease healer. Yes, disease. And I'm keeping one witch in almost uh, all stacked uh, 
squats, also we are carrying the carrying the supply, the supply stash. Uh, what is that throne? That the throne was very the golden throne, very strong and not bringing too much. I'm still struggling with the gold. Uh, this is only 40 provinces convert converted. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six, seven not converted yet. Okay, a lot of planning, and I have a few hours hours before the clan gathering. I have to move all of the rear units here, and I have to begin harassing Agartha with neutral spells. First, I will try to um, roam some of the provinces uh, with. Hmm. What is his stack? Well, if a Garta meets Ermor, I could I can leave them to become bigger. Or actually they will attack me at some point. We'll see. Ah, this is so interesting and so many things to plan. And good game.